Okay. okay. The fourth module is about the heart. Is there a heart? There's a lot of discussion whether uh, there is a spiritual heart or the physical heart uh, or the heart chakra. A lot of complications. For all practical purposes, just it is the physical heart as well as the spiritual heart. That is, that has consciousness also. Heart has its own consciousness. You always uh, say, my heart says something, my head says something. Oh, can the heart think? Yes, the heart can think. But it is more intuition. That's why the heart is considered the soul center. It will think beyond logic. It will intuit a pure intuition, which will turn out to be uh, most of the times the right thing to do. But you have to, but you cannot just go by heart either. So you, the, what happens is we have to now juggle between these two and eventually the heart will win. You end up, you'll end up doing only heart. And also there is an expression called heart's desire. This is my heart's desire. So is it a heart, is a blood pump and it has a desire? It's not just a blood pump. A very powerful consciousness stays there in, in the heart. And the desire, emotions, very are in the heart. Not only the emotions are in the heart, the highest wisdom is not here in the brain. It's here in the heart. Even Patanjali, the father of yoga, says heart has carries the highest mind, highest intelligence. Shiva Sutra says, It is the heart. Eventually, uh, there will be a connection established from the head to the heart. And if that is established, then you will have you know, greater thoughts in the heart. And then you are going to do brizi in the heart. Because doing brizi in the heart you will emotionalize the sound. And your desires will become pure. That's the important thing. So one of the important things of doing busy in the heart. And I just remember the person who asked the question, if uh, do I have to do only on the third eye? And this will be also a part of the answer. Uh, that will be more in the domain of the mind, but it will be the domain of the heart. So, so I would uh, answer him saying that, why don't you do this and do this? That's why this program, you know, I just came before this camera to give you as much information as possible, as much techniques as possible that you can yourself do. Okay, there is no need if you don't have money to do this program. Well and good. So it is comprehensive by itself. And it is going to be on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, uh, or the uh, you know, page. So you can do that here. Desire. Can you medit can you can you manifest anything without desire? You cannot. But what's the problem with the desire? The problem with the desire is you have uh, inauthentic, uh, psychotic desires. 
what are the psychotic desires? I want a Rolls Royce, I want a, you know, mansion, I want a helicopter, I want this, I want that. Do you believe that? You don't believe that. Is it authentic? It's not authentic. The authentic desire is that which is, which never leaves you in life after life after life after life, it, you know, whether it is a girlfriend or a car or a home or everything. That desire will be there. And it never changes. And I, in this, for some reason, I think about Donald Trump. I was doing research on him about his desire. I watched a video, a 1980s video. Donald Trump was quite a young man with uh, Tom Brokaw. And he was criticizing these people do not know how to run a government, particularly finances. And uh, money is being wasted. And then Tom Brokaw asks him, hey, why don't you become a president then? He said, no, that's not my problem. I'm not going. But at the same time, I knew from reading the words he said that he wanted to become the president. 1980 that desire will be there subconscious. And how long did it take? 1980, 20, nearly 35 years or so, more. So you have to have the desire. And here is the million dollar question, a billion dollar question. Most people don't know how to desire. How to desire. Why? Because in previous lifetimes, they were in a monastery probably, asceticism, renunciation, and they are born with that consciousness and they are confused. So they are not able to do that. Brzee will help. When you put Brzee in your consciousness, Brzee is such a beautiful uh, energy. And the Brzee will help you in your heart to open up your heart. To embrace nature to love Bahamas and so forth. I don't want to uh, spend more time. So one thing when my note says here, also Brazil in the heart center, which uh, make the sound Brazil very subtle. Okay. It's a boson ice. Boson is the ultimate God particle. Fermion is a similar particle. And that kind of a thing will happen when you use busy at the level of the heart. Module five, dream. The module five is about dream. You have to dream. It's not enough to think about busy in this lifetime, you know, when you are waking time. And also there are techniques that I do in the, the whole program. Every every minute you have to be doing Brzee. Okay. So that it becomes completely, completely an obsession. You, are, you have to be obsessed. You are not obsessed, you cannot manifest. Completely obsessed on getting this. Okay. You don't compromise. You know, that is very, very important. Okay, so the obsession should continue in the dream plane also. And many people dream and then they manifest. It's called prophetic dream. 
in the prophetic dream you will see what's going to happen and then it happens okay it's called wish fulfillment dream so you have to put brizi in your dream consciousness you said just pray to uh this is another module which uh, probably uh anyway I will mention that that is now recently i have established the first temple for brizi in india it's a six feet tall the goddess of brizi that was a new revelation that came and then that teaching it will do a lot good for you and then you will be able to communicate with uh, brizi with that so uh so there's an image so in in module 6 which will be the next module which will be a combination of all of these things i'm not going to talk about it because people who teach this program will pull out things from all these six modules uh, five modules and put it together so far you in a very compact form now to come back to dream we have to dream like look at uh, han uh, conrad hilton he was a very poor boy not even uh, ma- money to buy a reading desk a paper boy he was making money you know selling newspapers but one day he saw the waldorf astoria not in person but in a, a paper newspaper oh my god this is the hotel i want to buy he did dreamt about it he put a picture of uh, that and then kept looking 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 and he couldn't manifest that because it was owned by at the time the queen of england and he didn't have any idea what, who owned it but what he did was he, the 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 picture helped him to manifest the first five star hotel and then he went and created a number of five star hotels and the last one to manifest was the father of father of story he went to the queen and then said here i want this hotel i will pay any amount of blank check the queen said no i will give you the market price and get it he manifested it and he wrote about it in his book be my guest and said everybody must have a dream if we don't have a dream then you cannot the dream has to be real now this is my dream this is my dream i have to i have to get there i have to get it i have to get that i have to do this job or whatever it is that is important and now i want to mention one more thing to add some one more thing to the dream consciousness the dream consciousness is you know is a threshold you are sleeping you are in a delta state and then you go you know you are feeling drowsy and you are in a threshold of going into sleep and during that time you get a wave theta waves most creative waves and uh, edison knew about that all his creations ideas inventions came from when he was in theta in those days you know he used to create uh, hold an iron ball in one of his hands and then go all sit on a chair and then he will try to evoke that kind of consciousness and then when he gets into a theta state he doesn't want to lose it whether he will be losing his consciousness because he's going to go to sleep so he will lose the grip of the ball iron ball the ball will fall on a copper sheet that he had a big copper sheet bang then he will open his eyes oh my god 
but you still will have that consciousness. That's a great idea. I, I read this in a book by a professor from Britain. Mm. A great idea. We can do it even today, relevant. Because we, uh, you have known that you are reading a book and then when you are dozing up and then the book will go, falls down. So you can use Brzee at that time. 